Yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. All right, we're on part two of this thing here. We had a phone call. We got a sick dog, so the whole family's kind of watching on it. All right. Um, now we already got the motherboard out. Right here is the front camera and probably the backlight sensor. I assume everything's right there. Right here is your um, earpiece speaker. Right here, what would we say that would be? Thank you. I don't know. I'm having one of those brain farts of a day right now, guys. But construction-wise, looks like the S7. Here's the nicest thing. It, you know, I want to call this a home button cable. I probably don't know what it, I know. I don't know what it is. The nice part though is there is no on the old, on the S7s and the S6s is actually dating back as far as I can remember on the galaxies. You would have the charger port here. You had these two little ribbon cables that would come up and they would fold over. And that would be your light sensors for your multi-window functions in your back here. And, of course, your home button would be a cable that went up underneath the LCD. And right, and you'd have the home button here and be impossible to fix without, in a lot of cases, or you spend enough time and money trying to fix it. It looks like this part comes out, so let's see if it does. Here's your auxiliary port. Samsung was smart and didn't screw up. You notice now this screw here is different. Let's put that off to the side. Let's get that bad boy out of here. All right, she just lifts. Your auxiliary port, just like the S7, it actually looks. I don't know if they actually scrapped a lot of parts. Put your antenna cables. We're just going to go ahead and lift those up. I'll even leave them attached. So since I'm doing them down there. No screw. I'm going to keep these in order as we pull them out because I don't. I'm not 100% sure what that looks like down here. It looks like they're all the same in the end. If you guys heard me talk about it on the other thing where I thought the um, it looked like it would just pop apart, I want to give Samsung credit. The um, new adhesive is quite heavy. Um, we thought we would be have a simple video where we'd just be able to pop off the back for you guys. End up taking forever and ever and ever to do this. Now, let's get this ever so delicate little cable out. That's good. That's right there. We'll look at it right here. I'm we'll stop right there. Let's screw this and spot it. Definitely a different harness style than what. In the past. Let's see if we can get her off. I don't want to make a big video about this, but I mean, this was always one of my pet peeves with Samsungs. This is just like that. Tricky is around the board closures. All right. We're checking for extra screws. If you're ever nervous about what you're doing, always check for more and more screws. Look at that sexy thing. That comes right out. It's going to be a nice, easy charge report repair. These Type C's just, I don't know if you get shop owners or if you're a guy just thinking about buying this. I've seen a lot of people already rip the center part out, especially on the ZTE Z Max Pros from the Metro PCS. They seem to fall right out on a lot of people. This is going to be a beautiful phone to fix for people. Just beautiful. Let's take a look here in the housing, how nice and clean that looks. And we're not going to take the battery out or the LCD out. I just don't want to mess with that. Um, being honest, I never felt confident in myself taking these things out. And I just don't want to do it on a brand new phone like that. Um, it's just beautiful. All right, let's put her back together and put her up for sale. <laughs>